Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm excited to bring you this video because this video is in collaboration with Early August Beauty. I'm going to link her channel, everything down below. So August is a uh, small influencer like myself. Um, we actually, I actually found her on Instagram. Come to find out, like she subscribed to me and we, watch, we um, she watched my videos and we uh, communicate more through Instagram. Um, but she is a, uh, beautiful, beautiful young lady, black, black girl, woman of color, we're representing out here, and we decided to do a collab, I wanted to do a collab with her, because she is a makeup fiend like me, and her storage and organization is kind of similar to mine, I watched, like, her lip gloss video, and, like, she's just so talented and so beautiful, and so I'm gonna link everything down below, and so the idea we had was to recreate, um, a look, from each other's channels. Now, I have more looks than her on my channel. I chose her very first tutorial ever, and it's a beautiful matte look. I'm, again, I'm gonna link everything down below, but let me show you uh, the video that I'm recreating. Um, here we go, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should've had all this ready. This is me, this is me. I'm gonna try to do this video kinda unedited because her look is really simple yet beautiful, and it doesn't take her very long. So I'm gonna try, try to not take very long. Okay? Anyway, anyway. Um, hold on. I know, I should have had it ready. Anyway, her all matte, it's all matte makeup look. Here it is. So, um, and we also wanted to do the rules where if we have the products that the other person used, we must use them. So I watched her entire video multiple times. She uses a lot of Fenty, which I don't have a lot of Fenty. She uses the Fenty foundation. I'm going to give you a pro pro uh, disclaimer now. I'm not going to use it because this color sucks for me. Um, but I'm going to, to recreate the look. All matte, beautiful, simple eye. She does wear lashes. Simple eye, uh, nudie pink lip, gorgeous. This is a big difference for me because she also doesn't use highlighter. Oh, God. <laughs> so let's get into it. She did her brows. Her brow routine is quite uh, step heavy, although she has really beautiful brows. So I did my brows. I did them a little bit fluffier than I normally do. Um, I did my brows off camera because that would have taken a while. And then she also does her face before her eyes. <sighs> So much going on. So, um, she did prep her skin. I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin. Something I don't show on camera very much. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put on some eye cream. I usually do my eye cream at night, but I did not do it last night. So, we're going to do it now. This is the Elf, Illumi Elf Illuminating Eye Cream. Again, I'm going to try to keep this video in real time. Um, and the look that she gave... Uh, that she did beautiful. She's this girl's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful brows, clear skin. So I might have to add another step or two in mine. But we are going for an all matte look. Eyeshadow's matte, lip is matte, everything. I'm gonna put on some moisturizer, and I'm actually going to put on some primer as well. Oh Jesus, hit my cup. Mm -hmm. Before I get. Well, I'm doing my face before my eyes. Am I? Yes, I'm going to do my face before my eyes. So, she conceals. She has a fancy concealer. She does conceal. Um, and after her foundation and things like that, I'm going to do a little bit of color correction because I need it. I'm going to spray a little bit of my Wet n Wild. I've been enjoying these primer waters. My Wet n Wild uh, primer water. Um, this is the cucumber one, and I've been spraying this before my makeup. In connection with other primers so oh so good now I'll put that on before primer or after primer I found that it really doesn't matter I'm gonna use my Bosha pour pour affecting white charcoal mattifying did I just put that on why do I feel like I just put primer on we're gonna put it on again I don't know having a little moment I swear I just put primer on maybe I didn't anyway Anyway, so one of my things for a matte face uh, that I love to do um, is 
not the color correcting part. I am going to color correct. Not the color correcting part. But setting my face and putting a little bit of powder under the uh, foundation or face product that I'm going to use. So my color correction routine solely consists of right now is the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. I love this stuff. This is in the shade number six. I have number five as well, but number six works really well for me. So it's a correcting concealer. It has that peachy tone in it. And I'll take my finger. I'll take my finger. Ooh, that was a loud lip pop and I will correct under she used the Fenty concealer to correct her dark circles although hers were not as intense as mine okay um and yeah I don't know what I've heard about the Fenty concealer the foundation kind of broke my heart so I didn't like haven't really gotten back into like looking at Fenty's face products I probably should um but not trying to drive all the way out to the mall anytime soon, you know what I'm saying? Coronavirus <laughs> to check out that kind of stuff. But I did order from the 4th of July sale since we're talking the mini lip gloss set finally because it was on sale for $29. All right, so I color corrected underneath my eyes, and this concealer is pretty emollient anyway. So I definitely would set with the powder, and the powder that I like to set it with is the e.l.f. uh, Hint of Tint Translucent Setting Powder. So I go ahead and I set it really well. Set it. Okay. All right. Ooh. And I'll put a little bit on my chin where I get oily because this is going to be a matte look. So now she used, again, she used the Fenty foundation, but she did not use a lot at all. Like teeny tiny drops which gave her a really nice almost you know really nice natural looking coverage to the skin so the best way I'm going to replicate that is with a tinted moisturizer um I have like mattifying ones there's a lot of different ones the one I've really been liking is the ColourPop pretty fresh holler with hyaluronic acid uh moisturizer don't worry about the powder wait, wait, wait. tinted moisturizer I'm in the shade deep dark 21w and it's a great shade for me so I'm going to pump some of this on uh, always, I always apply <laughs> a lot of product because I just, I don't know. I, I'm heavy handed and I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I'll put this on. And this gives a beautiful, like, beautiful, you know, you guys know how I say, like, oh, that has, she has great skin. Oh, she's wearing great, her makeup looks good. This is one of those, her skin looks good. So you can still see, you know, my natural skin, certain uh, spots and different things. Where's the brush I'm going to use? Oh. So I'm going to use this brush from Sonia Kashuk, and I'm going to just blend, blend it in. You can use a sponge with this, although a sponge may absorb some of it. So, it's up to you. And it's it's buildable. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it ain't built into much, but it is buildable. <laughs> so, Whew, beautiful, beautiful. I like this tinted moisturizer a lot. I really do. See how pretty that looks. Like my skin looks just like really evened out. I'm going to add a little bit more because I'm Candice. Okay. Definitely check out her channel. She just reached 1,000 subscribers. Good job, girl. Hopefully my peoples come over and show you love. And you'll have more. You deserve more. We got to support our smaller creators. We got to support our uh, POC creators. We have to. Okay really pretty now she did use again her Fenty concealer she did a little bit of highlighting so thank you girl so I'm gonna add some concealer. I'm gonna add some concealer and the concealer that I am going to use is my oh I know we do have that same product I'm sorry we do have the same product this is the uh, Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer um she used the shade if I'm not mistaken butterscotch I have butterscotch and I have maple I'm gonna use maple today um <laughs> But, yes, we do have this concealer together. <laughs> I'm going to do a 
bit of this. I like a little bit more brightness, so I'm actually going to go into the brighter one. Uh, what is this? Butterscotch? I need a full size of this. Absolutely I need a full size of this. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this look. Because I'm extra. And I told her, I was like, I picked this one because um, I'm extra. And this is something that is definitely... All right, don't judge me. I'm using a dirty sponge from yesterday. Um... Not out of my comfort zone, but just I'm extra, and this is not extra at all. So I appreciate. And this is quick, and at least I'm trying to make it quick. And just, I don't know, just beautiful. If you have good skin like her, though, check her out. Check her out, and you'll see what I'm talking about with her good skin. So you don't have to color correct. You can make it even faster if you have skin like hers. Because <laughs> I do not. But so pretty so flawless now she did powder thank god I'm gonna powder um under the eyes and I'm gonna do my again we're keeping this matte I'm gonna go with the uh black radiance my black radiance soft focus finishing powder look at that <laughs> golden almond finish I'm gonna set my under eye with this okay And then on the rest of my face, I am going to go with my Laura Mercier. It's a lightweight powder. Definitely keeps you matte. Um, and I'm using the not, the, not the translucent one, but the translucent medium deep. Okay. Oh, I got so much in the thing. I'm just going to take some of the cap. I'm going to dust that over. Mmm. A little bit more. Okay. And now we're gonna contour. My girl contoured with a fancy match stick. Again, I don't have that, but I do have a contour stick. Um, and that is Sephora. This is my Sephora Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo. This is a really good contour stick. And this is in the shade Deep. I don't even know if they still make it, but... So... Okay. I'm going to use the same brush that I use ooh, for my tinted moisturizer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And blend. I am so excited for my simple matte face. <coughs> I always do, you know, matte face, but you know I had glow and all that and all that and all that and all that and all that. So, uh, for her eyes, I am going to do some eye primer. I'm not sure if she did any eye primer. Why can't I? I watched this video like 10 times, and I just watched it one more time before I filmed. I guess I'm nervous trying to get it accurate, and you know how you forget. <laughs> so, I'm going to put some eye primer on. Her eye look was very simple. It's a simple matte eye. She used a berry shade, like a pinky nude shade. I have, I already know what I'm going to do. I just need eye primer though. So this palette I have here from Amazon. This is the Supreme Femme by Prism Makeup. Um, and I'm going to go into this one. So what I'm going to do is use... Mine's going to be a little bit orangey. So I'm going to take Divine. I'm going to take Divine. Um, this is a like orange, warm... Y'all know me. Warm orange. And I'm going to go ahead and put that pretty much everywhere <coughs> and use a fluffier brush blend it up like just blow it out a little bit boom The most challenging part of this look, just wait for 
Y'all gonna already know it's challenging for me as soon as I say it. <laughs> so we're gonna do this color is what I say divine. Really pretty. This palette was ten dollars on Amazon. Ten dollars on Amazon. So I'm just pulling it up, blowing it out a little bit. It's something she did that I don't do unless I'm doing like a cut crease. But we're gonna do it today. She took some concealer. Which I'm gonna get my concealer. I guess I'll get. Let me just get a concealer. Uh, my shape tape. And she put a little bit on her lid before she put down her like light cream shade. Like, but not like in a cut crease. She just put it down. So I'm gonna take a little teeny bit and do that. Mm, I got it all over my goddamn lashes. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> So you already have like a, a base, not a cut crease, but a light base on your lid. Oh, the simplicity of this is really, even though it seems like a lot, I know it still might be a lot of steps for most people, but for me, y'all already know. So then she took a light cream shade and put it on the lid. Um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use Perfect 10 right here in the middle. Oh yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Kind of blending together. I really got concealer on my eyelashes, don't worry. Oh, so pretty. Let me curl my lashes and apply mascara. She did apply lashes. Because the lashes don't affect the matteness of the look, the matte is what's important. I'm not going to apply lashes. Um, because I want to showcase this nat matte eye. Really just play on my natural. Oh, thought it was my computer. I was like, what is that? Play on my natural lashes. Um, yeah, but you can apply lashes, obviously. So, I'm going to curl these bad boys. Seriously. She used a beautiful uh, berry eyeshadow as blush. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a minute. She gave herself a tiny wing with some brown eyeliner. That's where I told y'all I'm going to really struggle. Um... I mean, her wing was thin, beautiful. I, I just, I don't know if we're gonna do it though. So I'm gonna use a brown. This is the LA Colors Eye Marker and it's in the shade brown. Pray for me. <clears throat> I might go out of frame. Pray for me. Okay, that's about as thin as I can go. And hers was way, way thinner than that. <laughs> uh, but whatever. <laughs> Y'all know I cannot do a thin liner. Line that saved my life. I don't wear brown eyeliner enough though. So thanks girl. I think that's thin for Candace. Okay. 
I'm gonna add my mascara now. This Lancome Grandiose is on sale, y'all, at Sephora right now. For $19. Down from a million dollars. <laughs> Can I just tell y'all that I am having so much fun recreating this look. Even though the look is simple, it's like, I don't have to think about it. I know what I'm doing. I'm separating some lashes here. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <clears throat> and like I said, we are in real time. 20 minutes? So it's even faster if you're not talking. Okay, so let's go a little lower. Lash line. And a lot of things, the reason why it's fast is a lot of things that, you know, I don't normally do are cut out of it. But the look still looks complete. Oh my gosh! Act like I'm shocked like I ain't never seen no matte face before, but... All right, she did use a berry eyeshadow for blush. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to take this brave shade down here. Let me use a... I'm not use too much, you know. Oh, God, I use too much. No, it's fine. Ringling Brothers out here. Yeah, that's too much blush. Overdid it. Alright, let me do the other side. And then we will fix that with... I got you. I got y'all. We're going to fix it. So make it even. Uh, it's not that much, but it's too much for me. Y'all know I overdo it. I'm trying not to overdo it, but then I overdo it anyway. So I'm going to take my brush that I use the... Uh, there we go. That I use the tinted moisturizer with. And you see how that just le lessens it. So that's all. Fixed. Easy. 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 Yes. 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 Now let. Real time. Let me get my brown lip liner. She used a brown lip liner. And then she um did a pinky liquid lipstick. She did a dose of colors lipstick that I don't have again. Um, but I got it. Uh, where's my brown lip liner? We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We shall go with that. I got it. I got it, B. So this is Max Night Moth. It's more of a plummy brown, but... She specifically said in her video, she's doing a thick brown line. <sighs> okay. And the pink that I chose is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Precious. Okay. There we go. 
Let's clean off the old ye old lip ring. There we go. I need to blend that a little more. A little more. A little more. There we go. Yes. No editing. Straight to it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I really do. Um, yeah, no highlighter. That's crazy. And I'm not going to add any off camera. Thank you, August, for doing this collab with me. I can't wait to see your look. She's recreating a look that I did with the uh, old Juvia's Place palette. Um, make sure you check out her channel. Check out that video. Once everything goes live, I think hers is going live at the same time. We'll link kind of thing. Um, but, yes, baby. Oh, this matte is giving me everything. So, all matte look. Uh, thank you so much again for doing this collab with me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns um, about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. Again, August, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much, and I love all of you so much. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!